With all this great new hardware, we developed a brand new operating platform called ASUS Zen UI to keep things going behind the scenes. ASUS Zen UI was not just built to be functional, but also to be elegant and beautiful. When you turn on the Zen phone for the first time, you will notice that the background color matches the color of your phone. From the lock screen, you can see that we've added some widgets to show you the information that matters to you. You see the time, current weather information, the what's next bar, which displays your upcoming schedule, and the three default quick access icons shown here. Or you can just swipe in any direction to access the launcher. However, you can also customize the quick settings to your preference. Just go to settings and select the lock screen. Then select the quick access icon that you see here. Choose the one that you want to replace and the device will list out all the apps that you can put in the quick access spot. Let's change the messaging quick access icon to the calculator quick access icon. Now you see that the calculator is on the quick access lock screen instead. With a contemporary design, vivid colors, and a frameless layout, our Zen UI simplifies your daily routine. In addition to that, each ASUS built-in app is assigned a specific color, making your user experience more vibrant and engaging. I'll unlock the phone and show you the full view of a special application called Do It Later. Do It Later keeps track of your schedule for you when you're occupied doing other things. For example, if you receive a phone call but you can't pick it up, instead of just rejecting the phone call, you can set a reminder for yourself to call back later. Do It Later offers you a wide variety of options in essential apps such as read, call, reply, edit, and check later. This app also integrates with some Google or third-party applications like YouTube, IMDB, and Google Maps. To review what you need to do, I can go to the ASUS folder and look for Do It Later. And all the tasks that I have to do are organized in sequence. By clicking the task card, I then can pick up where I've left off. You can also prioritize your tasks by marking them as urgent just by clicking the exclamation mark. Also, if you have set up a VIP group and favorites in your contacts, Do It Later will see this contact is important and automatically mark the unanswered call or message as an urgent task in the Do It Later list. To continue the task, you simply click on the action button at the bottom of each task card. Do It Later will automatically transfer you to the app and let you resume your routine. In the Do It Later list, you can also have your phone sort your tasks by type. If you have put the calls in Do It Later, choose the Call Later option and it will just list all the calls to which you need to reply. You can do the same for Read Later, Reply Later to Messages, and others for easy access to what you need to do. When you've completed your task, simply click on the check mark to move the task to the completed section. You can then see all the tasks that you have completed. At the lower section of the selection bar, you can create your own categories to help you to keep track of your tasks. By clicking the Add List here, you can sort your tasks or add your own categories so that you can group your tasks based on what's important to you. The greatest benefit of the Do It Later feature is the integration of all important tasks in one folder. You no longer have to check applications one by one to see what you still have to do. By summarizing the information in a clean and sequenced note card, all the tasks are easily identified and can be quickly accessed by one simple click. The next thing that we'll look at is what's next. What's Next is an application that integrates information from multiple apps to provide content that really matters to you. It provides important information like tasks from your calendar, emails, incoming SMS messages, missed calls, birthday reminders, and even the weather to get you well prepared and in control of your schedule. Let's take a look at how the events schedule is displayed in the What's Next app. All the events are displayed in chronological order as a note card. You can scroll up to get more upcoming events in a week from your calendar. When an event time or meeting location is suddenly changed, most of the Android devices on the market today will either only update the information or remove the schedule from your calendar if the event is canceled. What's Next is different 
and that the device will notify you of the changes to the meeting time and location in real time. Any alteration to the information in your calendar is still recorded on your calendar, making it easier for you to keep track of current and changed scheduled events. When you know you are going to be late for a particular deadline or meeting, you can notify your friends by using the reminder card. Another really useful function is the weather change reminder card. This reminder card will notify you on the changes in upcoming weather with easy to read icons, so you do not need to wait for the weather forecast on the news channel to plan your next day's activities. What's Next helps you manage your schedule by displaying the events in a note card design. Within the event note card, it tells you the essential information about the timing and upcoming events. In addition to the schedule management, you are promptly notified of all event and weather changes so you always have the most up-to-date information. When you do not have Wi-Fi or 3G connection and you need to share files with a friend, you can use the share link. Share link uses a point-to-point -point pairing method to transmit data between devices very quickly. Let's look at the share link. I will use two Zen phones to demonstrate. Select the share link and set up one phone to create a group for others to join. I select the photo that I want to send out and can easily share it. Using the same technology, we can share pictures between multiple devices using the party link. Party link is similar to share link, but you can include more people. After one person creates a group and everyone joins it, the photos that anyone in the group take are shared between all of the linked phones. This is useful when traveling together or at a party. Instead of trying to gather photos from each person, you can create one album via party link so that multiple people can contribute content to the same album. Another very useful feature is called Open Cloud. Open Cloud integrates the gallery, music, file manager, and camera applications with the ASUS Web Storage, ASUS Home Cloud, Dropbox, Google Drive, and SkyDrive. So, if you store your family pictures or videos in the cloud, you can easily access them by linking your cloud account to the ASUS gallery. One great use of this function is that you can import music playlists from multiple web storage locations to your phone. This way, you can have access to all of your favorite songs on your Zenfone or Padphone Mini. OpenCloud is also very convenient for business. The file manager gives access for all the files from your different cloud storages. You can also copy and paste files across cloud storage spaces as well as within your own local storage space. For those people who love to take pictures to record their daily lives, OpenCloud is also very useful. OpenCloud is integrated into our Pixel Master camera to back up your camera rolls to storage spaces. You can set up the device to automatically upload the pictures in your device into your selected cloud storage. Sometimes it's difficult to coordinate plans with friends because everyone seems to have a different social messaging app. Not everyone has a smartphone, and so email becomes the default way to communicate, even though my inbox is already difficult to manage. With Omelette Chat, I can create a group and send and receive information like text, multimedia, calendar events, and contact cards to and from my friends through the app, SMS, or email. My friends can respond by SMS message, email, or write in the app, and all the communication is stored in one place. Omelet Chat is available on all Android and OS devices and is integrated with all native ASUS apps, which makes it easier for you to share information directly from your phone. In the Omelet Chat room, you can send typed messages, voice recordings, pictures, videos, and stickers. You can also share files, graffiti, hyperlinks with the preview, and Google Maps. You can see how much your group members liked your posts through the size of the heart icon, which grows the more it is pressed. Often, when you share your photo, you are only limited by the pictures that you have stored in your device. With Omelet, you can set your cloud account and back up your information and share anything with any device. This is Matt from ASUS. Thanks for watching.